Okay, fellow explorers, I'm back at one of my favorite annual events in Los Angeles, the Japanese Food Expo, this year being held in Hollywood at the Lowe's Hotel. Uh, and this is basically a Japanese food eat-a-thon. You can see there's tons of people here. You get admission for like three hours. You can come in, eat as much as you want. It's also open to businesses to check out some of the newest Japanese foods that are coming out on the market. And so in this video, I'm gonna take you around this expo, sample some of the deliciousness, and talk to some of these businesses in Japanese prefectures many of these companies straight from Japan. So, all right, let's check out the first booth. So I'm here at the Sushi Chef Institute. They're always serving up lots of great sushi every year at the Japanese Food Expo. What do you guys have on offer uh, We have uh, hand rolls today. All right. And we have the nori, and then we have just uh, sushi rice. Okay, we're going to come in close to see you make this. Okay, so. go ahead. So you take a piece of seaweed. Yeah, And then you seaweed. get seaweed. All right. Just a uh, sushi rice. Uh-huh. Like a, like a taco. Okay. We have a uh, salmon. And we have tuna. So this is the salmon first. This is the salmon first. All right. So you take it over here. Like Thank you taco. very much. All With right. The soy sauce over there. Okay. All right. And if you want a tuna one, my partner here is going to make you a tuna. All right. All right. And then it's just like a taco. Right. Yeah, like a taco. You can put yeah. it in there. Yeah, the soy like sauce a Mexican there, taco. Like a <laughs> that is I like tacos. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh huh. Good. All right. And let's go ahead and dive in to the hand roll, shall we? Mm. The best kind of hand rolls are sushi. The rice is not cold, it's warm. And I feel like many people, when they get sushi, if they first started on it, get it from like a supermarket where it's all cold, and they're like, I hate this, which was my experience having sushi the first time until I went to Japan. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, this is real sushi. The rice isn't cold. <laughs> The seafood doesn't taste fishy. Mm-hmm. And here we go. The salmon. Super good. The best part of this expo is uh, it's all the food you can eat for the few hours that you come here. So I know you couldn't make it this year for 2024, but you definitely check it out in 2025. This wouldn't be a Japanese food expo without some sushi. I'm here at the Daybreak booth. What's your name, sir? Uh, Nick Sakagami. All right, nice Hi. to meet you. Likewise. And what do you have on offer here? So these are frozen sushi, uh, frozen in Japan, and just brought it to the U.S. Yeah. And as you can see, we just uh, throw it out in room temperature. When we don't have time, then, um, we use a microwave to throw it out. And then the quality of this is um, pretty good. I, I don't want to say more, better than most of the sushi in the okay. U.S. Okay, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm biased, so I can say that. Okay. Yep. Can I give it a try? Oh, I, want, I want to give the I want to give the microwave sushi a try because that's a bold word. Yeah. Well, I don't want to say microwave. I know it's not. I know it's not microwave to cook it. Yeah. I know you says microwave to thaw it out. But yeah. I think that's actually a very interesting. Sounds like, good. Yes. yes. So please uh, use the. Uh, so use the soy sauce. Yep. Yeah. Well, the princess is going to have some too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Princess, do you want to try the sushi? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. They come on cute little spoons. Cute little spoon. We put a little bit of. They put a little soy sauce on it for me. Let's uh, fresh from Japan, fresh frozen from Japan, and thawed out here. How is it? It is surprisingly good. Right? For right? frozen sushi, it's right? surprisingly good. The rice good. is not well, yes. watery or... No, it's really good. Yeah, Can I have you. another one? Oh, please. <laughs> All right. And so do you just have salmon sushi or different types of sushi? Oh, we have everything. Um, I mean, on taste here, you probably just have the salmon one, yes, but um, you've got different ones here. All right. Can we take a look at this? So different varieties that come all packed like that. Yep. Hey, and if you want to check out more from Daybreak, go ahead and scan that QR code right yep. there. Yep. All right, so I'm now at the Gindaka booth. This is OC Girl's like probably favorite food when we go to Japan. Uh, and so I'm here with Taka. Taka, what do you have uh, here at the Gindaka booth Hi, today? We are, uh, so we are from the Gindaka, and we have this takoyaki. And this takoyaki's feature is really a crispy surface and a big octopus inside. Uh -huh. So what is, for people who might not know what takoyaki is, what is takoyaki? Yeah, this is takoyaki uh -huh. for us, yeah. So you said there's octopus inside, but yes. what's around it? I have this. So this is a uh, dip sauce mm -hmm. from the uh, otafuku. It's a very special sauce. And this is uh, another thing. Onito flakes. Onito flakes yeah. and seaweed flakes. Okay. And uh, so we certainly love Gindako takoyaki. Oh, thank but you so much. Yeah, what would you say makes it different or special from other takoyaki? So our takoyaki is really crispy. Mm. And, in, and there is a big taco like this one. Yeah, like a big piece of octopus on the inside. 
bigger. It's bigger, yeah, bigger, much bigger. All right, I'm gonna give this a sample. As Taka said, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, and there's that octopus right in the middle. So Taka, if people wanna pick up some of this takoyaki, where would they get it from? Uh, from the Gardiner and Dodger Stadium. All right, so Dodger Stadium, Dodgers, they just won the World Series. They have special flavors of this Gendako takoyaki there. And in Gardena at Tokyo Central, the biggest Japanese supermarket in the mainland of the USA, there's a Gendako store right there. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so now for something maybe even a little bit healthier. I'm at the Ikigai Fruits booth, which sells fruits straight from Japan. I'm here with Canon. What do we yeah. have on offer today? We're selling like, uh, strawberry and kaki and also melon, like fresh style from Japan. Great. And, so yeah. what makes these strawberries special? What makes a Japanese strawberry different than an American strawberry? Uh, the difference is the taste. Like this taste is really Japanese. And this is from Hokkaido, Japan. And this is came from Gifu. Yeah. Strawberry is really delicious, by the way. Japanese strawberries, if you've never had them before, when they're Japanese, doesn't mean they taste like sushi or fish or soy sauce or something like that. They're just like so much sweeter. American strawberries I find to be pretty yeah. sour. And especially like white strawberry is sweetest strawberry in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, here, let's come and take a look at these strawberries. Show, show us these strawberries. What do you got here? These different colors. Usually we just see red ones in the US. This is the white strawberry? Yeah, that's the sweetest one. The sweetest one. And then like pink strawberries? All right, so I got the persimmon now. What makes this persimmon different than typical persimmons? Oh, um, actually like this kaki is like big one. It's mm -hmm. like made in Gifu. Mm -hmm. And that is made by him. Oh, all right. What do we got here now? We've got something here. What is this? Melon. melon. Oh, this is the melon that's over there, right? Ah. The melon, this is from Shizuoka Prefecture? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna start with this persimmon, and then I'll go for the melon. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever tried kaki? This melon? No, 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 this kaki. This persimmon? No, I don't think I have. I don't think I've had Maybe Japanese there, persimmon before. Yeah, there is no in US. Yeah, it's very smooth taste. I like it. Yes, thank you. No, Japanese fruits are ones that like, that blew my mind the first time I went to Japan and I tried fruit there. I'm like, oh, this is, this is what fruit's supposed to taste like. Yes, you know? Really yeah. <laughs> really different from here in Japan. Yes. Yeah, right? How is it? Mm. It's delicious. This melon is delicious. It's just so sweet, it's so flavorful, yes. and so juicy. So if people want to get some of this Japanese fruit, where would they get it from? From on online. We, we opened the online like, Digi-Guy words here. Please scan in this QR code. Please scan in QR code, <laughs> and then you can buy it from here. Great. Canon, appreciate yeah. it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Right. Hey fellow foodies, now we're at the Aichi Inbound Association booth. I'm here with Keisuke Iwazu. He's the director of the association. And Kei, what do we have here for a sample from Aichi Prefecture today? Here today I have a sake kasu kabuki. It's a kind of uh, fermented food and uh, good uh, uh, taste and uh, healthy. Food. Yes. And so this is white chocolate that's mixed with the sake, sake kasu. kasu. And yeah. so what, what is that? Sake kasu is made from uh, sake uh, raw material from, uh, to make a Japanese sake. Yeah, so after they've been making the rice wine, what's left over in the vat at the bottom, uh, the rice and the yeast combined, uh, you then combine that it. with white chocolate and we get these energy that, bars. That's it, right? yeah. All yeah. right, great. And so I see we've got them in like three different varieties here, 15, 30, and 45%. What's the difference between wait, these? Wait percent of sake kasu. 15% sake kasu and the rest is uh, white chocolate. Uh -huh. This one is 30% uh, and 40% uh, sake kas and the uh, rest one is uh, uh, white chocolate. So you would say they will have a stronger sake flavor if we go greater on mm, the scale? Maybe uh, 15 is a uh, very small one. Uh -huh. uh, 45 is not a small one. Okay. So 30% is maybe balanced one. Yeah. So I'm going to give these a try. Uh, if you're not here at the expo today, you can pick them up on eBay. I'll put a link in the description below or a QR code up on the screen. 
and they come in like lots of little different pieces here so you can break them off into small pieces <laughs> mm. it's like a Hershey's cookies and cream candy bar except instead of cookies and cream it's sake right it has a very light sake taste but the white chocolate that was the 15 percent our uh our daughter who's four years old turns out she quite enjoys that one too because she really enjoys white chocolate uh while i munch on the 30 percent uh is there something good about this other than just the taste mm -hmm, yeah what's right. what's good about it other than the taste good for you good for your stomach yes yeah, stomach and uh, skin mm. <laughs> My complexion feels more radiant already. Mm. This definitely has a little bit of a stronger sake flavor. And this one's less sweet too. If it got as much of a sweet tooth, the 30% is a good option. All right, and now it's going to the 45%. Okay, since these are made of sake byproducts, are they alcoholic? No alcoholic. Mm. So, Still suitable for people who don't drink or don't want to that's, drink. Yeah, or that's right. Even our four-year-old daughter, yeah. she won't be drunk later today. <laughs> All right, that's good. Let's go in for the 45%. Hmm. This one seems to be a little bit more denser of a texture, a little bit more pasty. And it's interesting, I would have thought this would have tasted more like sake. But actually, as we get up in this, I don't think it has a stronger sake taste. Maybe like if you're having milk chocolate and dark chocolate, this one tends to just get a little bit less <laughs> sweet. All right, well the sake kasu white chocolate's super delicious. Now Kay, is there anything else you'd like to share with people about Aichi Prefecture, what they might see there if they come? Oh yeah, Aichi Prefecture is uh, located in the center of Japan main island, and there are a lot of uh, fermented food there. So uh, Aichi Prefecture people is a very uh, long, uh, uh, healthy life. Mm. So you should uh, come to Aichi and try uh, various uh, fermented food there. What's, a, what's the big city in Aichi that people might look at? big city is uh, Nagoya. Nagoya. And All also right. uh, Toyota Motor Company in the headquarters is in the Aichi prefecture. Yeah. So, so if you like cars or you like castles and you like good right. food, Aichi. Yeah. Check it out. All right. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so this gentleman right here just said vegan hamburger. Vegan hamburger. Is that what this is? Oh, yeah. Oh. What part of Japan is this from? Oh. Uh, Tokushima. Tokushima. Tokushima Prefecture. All right. Mm. It has a texture of hamburger? Yeah, I wouldn't oh. know it wasn't beef, so. Yeah, it's, it's made of uh, millet. 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 Uh, All right. Takaki ta beef. Okay. Takakibi. If people want to buy this, where would they get it from? Right only now, in Japan or? Yeah, only in Japan. Right only now. in Japan. Oh, All right. Japan. When they visit Tokushima Prefecture. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. We're now at the Univa American Corporate booth. I'm with Nobu. Nobu, what do you have here? <laughs> now, I live in New York. New York. But, yes. Uh -huh. This time in Japan, my client is on Castella and tea we are selling here. Okay. Yep. So you have two different types of cake or three different types of cake? Basically three different types. Uh -huh. And one is an matcha. Matcha, green tea. One is a coffee. Coffee. One is an original. Original. Yes. All right, which one should I try first? Original. Original. And okay. especially original, but there is a gosan yaki, we say. That is more eggs on it. More eggs. Yeah, so that's why more, you know, strong egg feeling. Mm. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Quality is a top of top. Gosan yaki meaning it is a um, Castella's yeah. king. So I see Castella cake all over Japan. Yeah. What is what is a cast what makes a cake a Castella cake? What is for? Let's say you know, from Portuguese. From Portuguese. So, yeah, I in Nagasaki Japan. in mm -hmm. Japan. The historically that is a so sweet, nice, you know. Sugar load, do you know that historically? Sugar load. Okay. Yeah, that is a sweet coming. Yeah. Then it is coming from yeah. This is a castella. Eh? This is the chocolate one, yeah. right? Cho no, 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 no. This co is coffee. 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 coffee one. So. By the way, so, the taste of the first one. Yeah. Uh, it's like a strong pound cake yeah. uh, that absolutely has some more butter in it. A little bit of sugar in it. That's kind of like crunchy and soft at the same time. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Coffee. Definitely strong coffee flavor, not overly strong. Yeah. I'm not a huge coffee fan. I'm definitely yeah. more the matcha fan. Oh, the girl behind the camera. She would love the coffee one. Yeah. And let's try this. Where would people buy these if they want to buy them? Uh, just we are coming here, not selling yet. Mm. So today we are, you know, showing to the, you know, retail owner and the buyers. Then we're going to try to, you know, eat. Great. Ooh, if you, right. Yeah. If you like, so we're going to buy. Yes. And the matcha and, one, yeah. not as strong. All right. Maybe near, you know. Within three, four months later, uh -huh. we're gonna sell here. All right, yeah. sounds Maybe. good. Be on the lookout for these pastella cakes. All right, princess, how's Mom. the cake? Good. Good. This one's Curious Princess approved. All right, I am thirsty, and so we're here at Marokai Corporation. I'm with Daichi. Yes. Daichi, what do you got here on sample? What do you what What do you have here on sample? Well, you got a lot of juices. Oh, yeah, we have juice. What are these? Which one should I start with? Uh, I think I recommend you to start carrot juice. Carrot juice. Hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> but it's very fresh and sweet. Uh huh. And it's like appetizer. All right. <laughs> wow. It's like drinking a carrot, yes. but it's sweeter. Like it's not just like eating a carrot. <laughs> Princess, do you do you want to try something? Try. Yeah. What do you want to try? What do you want? Apple, apple juice. Apple, sure. Okay. Here, come out here, princess, and try the apple juice. Daichi will give you an apple juice. Turn around. Turn around. Face the camera. Try the apple juice. All right. How's the apple juice? Good. Tastes just like drinking an apple. All right, let me try the apple juice too. Yeah, this is made of Fuji Japanese apple. Fuji apples. Yes. Mm. It has some like apple pulp um, in it. So it kind of here's a little pulp. Yeah. You can just squeeze. Yeah, right. You just squeeze. So I've never had apple juice like that that has the actual like apple yeah. in it. It's typically filtered in the U.S. Any other one you think I should try? I should try white peach. It's white peach. It's a best in Japan, also U.S. It's really good. Japanese white peach. I feel a very high class drinking out of these little containers. It's a very great taste as well. Do you want to try white peach? Princess, there's one more white peach right here. There you go. Try the white peach. Turn around, look at the camera. Try the white peach. All right, how's the white peach? Yummy. Yummy. Do you like the white peach better or the apple better? I like both of them. I love both of them. All right. If people want to buy this, where can they pick it up? Uh, if you are restaurant something, you can buy from JFC. This is our distributor. JFC if for if restaurants. If you're a customer, you, can, you should go Asia Mart, like Mitsuwa, Tokyo Central, some H Mart. All right. Great. Yes. Thank you very much. Delicious juice. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're now at the Gateau de Voyage booth. I'm here with Naoki. Hi. Naoki, what do you got here at the booth? Okay, we're a Yokohama-based uh, sweet shop, and we specialize in pie making. Pie making, yeah. all right. And uh, this one is our lucky horseshoe pie. Okay, mm -hmm. lucky That's horseshoe a, pie from Yokohama. Mm -hmm. That's a caramel. Uh-huh. And we also have a sugar butter. All right. Uh -huh. Are these made in Yokohama? Yeah, made in Yokohama with 100% Japanese flour, especially made for sweets. Okay, yeah. very good. So it's not like the regular flour that mm -hmm. you use for cooking. Okay, can I, can I try yeah, this one? Sure. Well, what did you What did you say this one was again? Uh, that's the uh, caramel. The caramel one, mm -hmm. I like caramel. It has a really crispy um, texture. Is one of these a better seller than another one? Or? Yeah, it, it, these two are our, our best Lucky, sellers. because I have a horseshoe. Mm. Mm -hmm. It has a crispy but yet light texture and mm -hmm. a very light caramel flavor. Not not like overly sweet to mm -hmm. blow you away. Yeah. Okay, let me try the other one. Yep. And this was, what flavor this was this one? Uh, sugar butter. Sugar butter. Yep. And so I assume this would be people who have a little bit less of a sweet tooth. Is that right? Yep. Well. Or it's more sugar. Yeah, it's more Maybe sugar it's like but it's not sweet. that sweet. Definitely if you have less of a sweet tooth, this mm -hmm. one. It's just a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It looks like it has a lot of sugar on it, but I think this would be great with some tea. It's yeah. like an afternoon tea setup. Mm -hmm. All right, so Naoki, where mm -hmm. would people buy this if they want to taste it? Okay, well, if you come to Japan, 
And if you're in the Tokyo, Yokohama area, you'll find our shop. We have 33 of them. All right. Yep. Naoki, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Tasty treats. So we're now at the Upbeat Tokyo Benny Bites booth. I'm here with Nozomi. Nozomi, yeah. what do you have on offer? Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I have the miso cheesecake and the amazaki brownie, and yeah. Miso cheesecake. Mm. Mm, can I try one? Yeah, of course. So. Uh, white miso cheesecake. White miso cheesecake. Yeah, this is all plant-based and gluten-free. Mm. But so, so no, no cheese, cheese in the cheesecake. cheesecake. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes exactly like cheesecake. Yeah. Like I would not know that it was yeah. made of miso instead of cheese. And what's this one? Yeah, this is Amazaki brownie. Do you know Amazaki? Tell me about Amazaki. Yeah, Amazaki is a fermented rice drink. Okay. So very good for gut and health. Mm. Yeah. So, so this is a healthy brownie is what yes, you're telling me. Yes. Oh, I love uh, Great. I would not know it's healthy. <laughs> All right. And I see you've got these cute sweet potatoes up oh, here. Oh, yeah. So we, yeah. Have, we have another sister brand. Uh -huh. So we have Benny Bai. Okay. So we have the dry sweet potato bar. So this is... That's what this, this is? Yeah, this is one. So Dried sweet, sweet potato, potato bar. Apple cinnamon. So we never add sugar. It's very clean and simple ingredients. Hmm. So have you ever tried dry sweet potato? Have I tried... Dried sweet potato. No, I've never had dried sweet potato. Yeah, so no. we eat baked sweet potato and dry one. Uh huh. <laughs> so, so we made a bar. So, so this is the one that I tasted. They've got five different flavors of bars. I think they'd make pretty good like airplane snacks to put in your backpack. All right, and you've got something else over here. Let's check this out. Yeah. So we got a fancy contraption here. What what is this? What are you making here? Yeah, this is sweet potato paste machine. Okay. So do you want to see? Yeah, let's take a look try. at the sweet potato paste on the side of there. Oh, look at all that sweet potato. Yeah. Okay, and what do we make with this machine? Yeah, so we we make the sweet potato paste. Uh-huh. Sweet potato dessert. Okay. Yeah. And so we're we're sending something down into it. Yeah, keep going. Yes, keep, keep okay. cranking. Okay. All right. And so we've got some little like sweet potato ramen, spaghetti like, or noodles yeah, coming like, out there. Like ramen. Uh-huh. <laughs> like noodles, like ramen, like right? Ramen. Uh huh, Mont Blanc, right? Yeah. So there's a sweet potato Mont Blanc. So 100% sweet potato. 100% sweet potato. Yes. Oh wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, can I try so this? You want to try? Yeah. Okay. It's really good. Okay. I like it. All right, so Nozomi, people want to try some of this deliciousness. Where can they get it from? So we came from Japan, Tokyo, Japan. So you can buy in Tokyo. So we have 300 wholesale store. So please check out our website. All right, we're now at the Press Butter Sand booth. I'm here with Kisa. Kisa, what do you got uh, on offer? So we have Press Butter Sand. It's our butter cream in it. And butter uh, cream? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sandwiches? Yeah, Very small sandwiches. sandwiches. It's They're like a crispy. cookie sandwich? Yeah. Cookie okay. Sandwich. Two different types? Yes. This is the original? Yes. This is the matcha? matcha yeah. What makes these special? Uh, this is very crispy and uh, all are made in Hokkaido and uh, this one is from Kyoto. Oh, uh, made in Hokkaido? Yeah. So Hokkaido for cream, some of the best cream yeah. milk in all of Japan, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And uh, which one's the most popular? Are they both um, equally popular? This one is the original the most, one. Yeah, of course, popular okay. one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a go. Mm. It's like a butter cookie on the outside, right? Yeah. And then very much a cream on the inside. It's a delicious sandwich. And now we'll try the matcha. Mm. Yeah, so we have two layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is sample. Show us the two layers. What yeah. is it? It's ma what, what are those two layers in the matcha cookie? Butter cream and the matcha paste. They're so good, I don't want to stop eating to ask my next <laughs> question, but I want to ask my final question, which is, if other people want to buy this and get it instead of just me, where could they get it from? Uh, we can get it at our West Century City Mall. Yeah, Westfield West Century City? Yeah, do you have a, do you have their press butter sand uh, yeah. store there, or where would they find it? Their little cart, or? Uh, we have an actual store. An actual store, yeah. yeah. It's a called uh, Baked Cheese Tart. Uh, we have different... It's called Baked Cheese Tart. tart yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, we are now just started also, uh, selling a press butter sand as well. Okay, yeah. 
Sounds good. Uh, well, and if you're in Japan, you can buy them in Japan too, yeah. right? Also yeah. Mitsuba. Oh, also Mitsuba Supermarket. Yeah. And Mitsuba Supermarket, one of the best Japanese supermarkets in Southern California. All right, but if you're in Westfield Century City, which is a big shopping mall in Los Angeles, check them out at the Bake Cheese Tart Store. It's up on the second floor. I've been there, I've had those cheese tarts too. So yeah. they're really delicious. And if you wanna check out my whole walking tour of Westfield Century City to know what that looks like, you can do that as well. Thank you very much for the delicious cookies. Thank you. All right, so now I'm here with Minsky at a uh, strawberry farm. Tell me about what you have on offer here. What have I got okay. in my hand? This is strawberry Yamazake smoothie. Okay. So we have collaborated with um, our like sake brewer yeah. from Saku Nagano. Oh, from Nagano. Yes. So that's where the uh, that's where the snow monkeys are from, right? Yes. Yes, we've been to Nagano and we've been to see the snow monkeys. Okay. Yeah, we are doing okay, strawberry right. Did you want to try this strawberry smoothie, Princess? Thank you. So yeah, it's a strawberry smoothie. Go ahead. How How's that it? strawberry smoothie? Is it good? It's like strawberry jelly in a smoothie. It's really quite sweet. All right. And you have another thing over here that the Princess yeah. just had. Can I try one of those? Okay, sure. I've got a spoon already. Oh, okay. Okay. So what is this? This is shaped strawberry ice. Shaved strawberry ice. Yeah, 100% strawberry. 100% strawberry. So yeah. it's frozen strawberries. Yeah. And then what do you add on top? This is condensed milk. All right, can I try some of that? Yeah. You want to try with condensed milk? Okay, tell you what, after I try this one, then you can try some too. All right, let's see how this goes. How is it? Mm. Really good. I had the Japanese strawberries earlier, the fresh ones. This one, definitely more of a dessert option. Princess? Do you want to try with the condensed milk? All right, so if people want to get these strawberry tasty things of deliciousness, where would they buy it from? Yeah, so we sell the shaped strawberry in Marukai. Oh, Marukai? Yeah, here. We're trying to sell more. Okay. In like, in like which, is, which is also Tokyo Central here, too, right? Marukai, Tokyo Central. Yeah. Yes. All right, great. Thank you very much. Now, in addition to the foods that you might eat, they've also got lots of ingredients here in the center. They've got shoyu islands. These are vendors that just specialize in soy sauce. I mean, so many different types of soy sauce. Right here, they've got 10-year aged soy sauce. And here, they've got more different types of soy sauce. If you've ever, like, only ever thought there's one type of soy sauce, uh, this will definitely expand your mind on the world of soy sauce. For example, this soy sauce is just for eggs. Wow, that's really specialized. And if you're into Japanese alcohol, they have a whole section tasting Japanese sakes and tasting Japanese beer just outside of the main room. Oh, and they also have a host of performances. This is the opening performance of taiko drumming. You'll find sushi cutting and a lot of other cool things on their main stage at the center of all the food. Well, all right, fellow explorers and fellow foodies, that's it for the Japanese Food Expo this year. If your travels are bringing you to Los Angeles or Hollywood and you want to check out some more of my LA travel guides or you want to see what walking down Hollywood Boulevard actually really looks like, you can check out that video right here. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video, which might also be my Japan series. Over 100 videos on Japan, too. All right, see you there.